what's up guys my name is mike i am forex trader algorithmic forex trader software engineer and recently i live as an expat in thailand and for today's video i'm going to talk a little bit about the cost of living from the perspective of the person coming from european union so basically how much i spend in thailand by monthly basis and if, if you are interested in algorithmic trading, forex trading, low latency programming, feel free to subscribe to this channel and join my Discord community where we can exchange interesting ideas. And now let's start with this video. Okay guys, so what I did basically, I made some notes here. So I calculated how much I spent on what I spent on monthly basis. So let's start with the rent. Okay, so basically for the rent, we rent a two bedroom villa with living room with a pool, infinite pool with sea view. The villa looks like this. And how much we spent? We spent for rent 35,000 baht, which is around $1,000. Per month but when it comes to bills like internet cleaning electricity this thing is not included for the bills we pay 5000 baht and 5000 baht it's around 140 dollars okay so this is the cost of, of the property so now let's talk a little bit about the phone we pay for the phone for the sim cards and the internet 300 baht per person so it's 600 baht per month so it's around 17 dollars for 5g not that bad you have unlimited internet so when it comes to next thing that we spend money for we are going to food category wait for the wind so for food really okay so for food we spend around 400 baht per person per day which is 400 baht it's around 10 12 dollars times two because we are two people so we have 800 baht so it's around 20 22 dollars per day so times 30 of course and we got 600 dollars so we pay around 600 dollars per month per food for two people so per, for one person it would be around 300 dollars and when it comes to food we do not cook we eat pretty much yeah every day we eat uh, in restaurants and we drink a lot of coffee or, or cocktails like this so everything is included in this uh, 400 baht which is uh, 12 dollars moving next the next category is fun so for fun i included like the uh, tourist tours trips or alcohol or just uh, you know having fun around the island like jet ski or stuff like this so for this kind of category around 1000 baht per person per month when it comes to clothes i also included shopping stuff in the fun category so we pay around 1000 baht per week which is around 30 dollars and we have we are two people times four weeks so we got around 240 dollars so we spent around 240 dollars per month for just having fun moving next the next thing that i got on my list it's motorbike we spent uh, 3000 baht per month for motorbike which is apparently 90 dollars so i think this is a very good deal 90 dollars per month for for renting a motorbike we uh, i think it's all right we have honda click you can see it right now and when it comes to petrol you know we drive around the island pretty much uh, every day and uh, when it comes to petrol we pay around 30 dollars per month so this is very very cheap you know compared to western countries the petrol is very 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 cheap here in thailand so that's the benefit okay so right now i made this list i told you everything about this so right now let's sum up everything so when we sum up the rent of the the house we, we are renting the bills phone bills food fun category rented motorbike and petrol we got around we got exactly 2117 dollars 2117 dollars and if we divide this for two people we are left with 1058 dollars and 50 cents so I can freely say that uh, you can make a very, very good, decent living spending around $1,000 per month in Thailand. Because, you know, when we are living here in Thailand, we do not we do not save money, how to say it. You know, when we moved to Thailand, we decided to raise our standards of living. So for $1,000, you can have a really nice 
decent living here in Thailand. And if you're a couple, you're, you're together for two people, $2,000, it's really decent living. I mean, yeah, you look at this, you can have a villa with an infinite pool, with sea view, you eat in restaurants every day, you got the weather, if you, you can drive by your motorbike pretty much everywhere. The only thing that is missing here is renting a car or buying a car. But uh, in Thailand, renting a car is quite of expensive, I would say. The prices are around $100 per day. So that's why we are not renting the car because we do not have a need for that. Anyway, 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 this is how much we spend living in Thailand on a monthly basis. So if you want more videos like this, if you are interested uh, about how we live in Thailand or maybe you're interested in uh, more about technical stuff that I upload content for, feel free to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and join our Discord community where we can exchange interesting ideas. So that's it for today and see you in the next video.